Nothing like a fresh batch of severed heads to get you in the holiday spirit. Here's everything you'll need to carve out your masterpiece. When selecting your victims, I mean apples, you can use any size or variety of apple you would like. It's best to use a fresh apple than an older one and stay away from any apples that have bruising. Before I peel my apples, I like to decide the general look and shape of my face that I'm trying to create. When peeling the apple, leave a nice base at the bottom. This will help keep your apple from rolling over. For the top, leave some apple skin for the hair. In this video, you will see that I went with the traditional bowl cut. Start the carving process by lightly marking where you want the lines to be on the face. Rough out the whole face with a paring knife. This is the most intimidating part of the project, carving the facial features on the apples. Just go slow until you're comfortable carving. And remember, these faces are supposed to be deformed anyways. Don't sweat it if it's not atomically correct. Carve deeper under the eyebrows to create a gaunt eye socket. Clay sculpting tools are great for this. would like to take a quick second and thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button. It is 100% free and helps us out tremendously. Also, if you really like to see our content, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop. It took me roughly an hour to carve one apple, but remember, I'm also filming while doing this. That always doubles the time. When you are happy with your face, you can soak it in a lemon salt bath for five minutes for even browning while they are drying. Depending on the humidity in your house and the water contents of your apple, it could take two to three weeks to air dry to its final size. Or you can bake them in your oven for 18 to 24 hours depending on the apple at 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind, you don't have to run it 24 hours straight. I ran mine off and on for a few days. After 24 hours in the oven, the faces will start to look shriveled and lumpy with a leathery texture. You may need a little more time or a little less time depending on the apples you picked. For the final touch on your shrunken masterpiece, let's give them some eyes. I'm using whole cloves to give them the beady little eyes. Mm -hmm. 
I would like to thank you again for watching this video, and I hope this has inspired you to go out and shrink some heads of your own.